So in this MMP1 tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the setup wizard to create uh, the first preset that will configure the MMP1 so you can use it with uh, various speaker systems and monitor sources, uh, QSENS, talkback mic, etc. So to begin with, whenever you change the configuration of the MMP1 or want to create a new configuration, you need to do so in the MMP1 editor in offline mode. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to the connection status button. And right now I'm connected to the MMP1, but I'm going to go to offline mode. Now you see the connection status is unlit, so we're ready to go. Um, coming over here to the file menu, I'm going to create new. And it asks you if you want to use the setup wizard. I'm going to go yes. So the first thing we need to consider is how many channels are going to be in the largest speaker system in the studio. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a 5.1 setup, but if you were using Dolby Atmos, you could use the 9.1.2, something of that nature. Or if it's just stereo, well, you can just start with stereo then. So uh, going to the first actual setup page, we get to choose what the sample rate is for the unit. And in this case, we're going to use 48K. Then here's where we choose the speaker format for this setup. And I'm going to choose 5.1. And then beneath here, we get to choose the channel order. And this is because different manufacturers use different channel orders for the way they route a 5.1 signal. In this case, we're going to use the first configuration, which is what Steinberg uses for Nuendo. So I'm going to go to the next page. Now, this deals with the subwoofer setup. And uh, for the LFE channel, sometimes you'd like to use the 120 hertz low pass filter um, to filter everything out uh, that's not really in the base range. Um, sometimes this is available on the subwoofer itself, so you might not want to use it. In this case, we are going to use the LFE filter. Uh, next is the LFE trim. The LFE channel in a 5.1 setup is 10 dB louder than all the rest of the channels. And again, you, you might be able to set that on the subwoofer itself, but in this case, we're going to use the plus 10 dB boost uh, the trim level in the MMP1. Uh, for this setup, we're not going to use bass management, but if you do want to use bass management, in other words, to send the low frequency content of the other channels into the subwoofer, like on a smaller system, uh, this is where you would turn that on. So let's go to the next page. Here we get to choose the monitor sources for the MMP1. Now, in this case, we're going to have two monitor sources. The first one is going to be a 5.1 output from the Duendo workstation. So I'm going to choose the format here, 5.1. And then we get to choose where the source comes from. And in this case, uh, the Nuendo system is connected via Dante to the MMP1. So I'm going to use the first Dante input on the MMP1. And the setup wizard will automatically configure the subsequent channels automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. Just choose the first channel. I'm going to label this Nuendo 5.1. Then for the second channel, um, we're, we're going to have a MacBook that's connected in stereo, just so we can listen to other sound sources. And this is going to be connected on the first two analog inputs. So I'm going to choose analog input 1. And that'll automatically route both channels. I'll label this MacBook. Now, if you notice down here, uh, these squares are being populated with the names of the monitor sources. And once we uh, upload this configuration to the MMP1, you will see these monitor sources as buttons in the um, MMP1 iPad app and also on the editor screen. So let's go to the next page. Here's where we get to configure the two speaker systems. And to begin with, we have the 5.1 format. All we have to do here is determine which output of the MMP1 will be connected to the speakers themselves. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the analog outputs of the MMP1, which are mastering grade DDA converters. They sound wonderful. Uh, I'm going to connect those directly to my speaker system. So I'm going to choose analog one. And then for the second uh, speaker system, which is just stereo, I'm going to use the remaining two analog outputs. Now, if you see here, the first 
six have an asterisk after them, which just indicates that they've already been used by the 5.1 speaker system. So I'm going to choose seven here. So seven and eight will be used for the stereo um, speaker system. Let's go to the next page. Here's where we choose the Q-mix input and output. Now, in this case, we have one Q-mix, one stereo Q-mix. So I'm going to choose the format, stereo. Then, since the Nuendo workstation is connected via Dante, and the Q-mix is going to come from the Nuendo workstation, I'm going to choose Dante 7 and 8. 1 through 6 have already been used by the 5.1 output. That's why they have the asterisk um, after their uh, listing. And then we have to choose where the output of the Q-mix is going to be routed to. So since I've already used the eight analog outputs of the MMP1, I have a, a system that connects via Dante for the Q-mix for the, for the headphone system in the studio. So I'm going to choose Dante 1. So Dante 1 and 2 will now have the Q-mix output. Let's go to the next page. Here we get to choose the talkback mic input. In this case, I'm going to use analog number 8. Now, something to note, the MMP1 does not have microphone preamplifiers in it. So the talkback mic would have to be routed to a microphone preamplifier first and then connected to the analog input of the MMP1. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And here we see the conclusion, uh, the, the sum summary of all the settings that we've just made. And this gives you a chance to review everything. If you need to make any changes, you can hit the back button and go change anything. Um, so let's take a quick look. Uh, first, we have the 48 kilohertz sample rate. We have the channel configuration, 5.1. Uh, the low, the LFE filter is on. The LFE trim is also on, plus 10 dB. No bass management, it's turned off. Here we have Dante inputs one through six are coming from the Nuendo workstation, the 5.1 output. Then we have analog inputs one and two, which are coming from the MacBook here. Those are our monitor sources. Then the speaker sets, analog one through six is going to go to the 5.1 system and then analog seven and eight will go to the stereo system then we have the q input and q mix output in this case we're using dante seven and eight from the nuendo workstation to that's where the q mix is coming from and then dante outputs one and two are going to be connected to a headphone system to be used by the uh, talent in the studio and then finally we have the talkback input channel which is analog eight. Okay, so now we can finish. We've got the setup here. If you notice, we've got some buttons now where we can turn off the LFE filter, turn on the talkback destination, select the different speaker channels, make adjustments to the monitor level and all that. Now, the one step that's left is we need to now connect to the MMP1 and upload this configuration into the actual hardware unit. So I'm going to go over to the connection status button click that. And now this is where we get to choose how we're going to connect to this MMP1. I want to go from the editor to the MMP1. That is going to allow the configuration to be uploaded into the unit itself. We can watch the progress. And as soon as we're done here, the MMP1 will be configured. And as long as all the other hardware has been connected um, and the Dante channels routed, that sort of thing, the MMP1 will be functional and ready for you to use. So there you have it. That is how to use the setup wizard to create your initial configuration for the MMP1. We'll have other videos uh, detailing more um, how to make adjustments to that, uh, speaker calibration and that sort of thing in other videos. So we'll see you then.